Absolute Xuanwen, Invincible Mysterious Fantasy, The Nine Realms Sword Emperor, Legendary Return, Conquering Everything. Genius and Demons, Stepping on Their Feet, Powerful Enough to Wave and Kill. If a person does not offend me, I will not offend them. If a person offends me, they will destroy their nine tribes. Keywords of the novel. Nine Domain Sword Emperor without pop-ups, download the complete set of Nine Domain Sword Emperor TXT, and read the latest chapters of Nine Domain Sword Emperor. Chapter 1. Beat to Death. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 2. After 10,000 Years. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 After 10,000 years after a long time, Chu Fengyin's consciousness gradually awakened. What's going on? Didn't I die? Chu Fengyin suddenly opened his eyes and started, but the pain on his body still made him frown. Where is this? Didn't I jump off Tianjue Peak? How could I still be alive? In Chu Fengyin's eyes, he appeared extremely confused, looking at everything around him his mind was extremely unfamiliar. Chu Fengmian. By the way river. Lin Fu. Suddenly, Chu Fengmian fell asleep for a moment, and then his gaze around him began to change. So, have I been dead for 10,000 years, Chu Jianbai? Chu Fengmian lifted her head and looked around. In Chu Fengmian's eyes, there was a sense of decline. Chu Jianbai. If this name were placed thousands of years ago, it would have been a name that no one knew or knew throughout the entire Wuxian kingdom. Kendo is the largest martial arts discipline in the world of Wuxian, and even in the entire continent. If anyone is the first swordsman, even a child would blurt it out, then it is the master of swordsmanship. The ultimate realm, the first person in swordsmanship. But if we were to ask who was the first person with the sword intention, it was a different name 10,000 years ago. Chu Jianbai. The former Chu Jianbai was the first swordsman and the youngest disciple of the master of swordsmanship thousands of years ago. At that time, even the master of swordsmanship once sighed to this Chu Jianbai. In terms of swordsmanship and understanding of swordsmanship, Chu Jianbai has already surpassed his master and the master of swordsmanship. However, this sentence is not about praise but just a sigh. Because although Chu Jianbai has an unparalleled sword spirit, he has a fatal flaw, which is that he cannot cultivate spiritual power for his entire life. Spiritual power is the spiritual pulse within the human body that generates the accumulated power. Without a spiritual pulse, one cannot cultivate spiritual power, let alone accumulate it. Empty with sword intent, but without spiritual power, almost indistinguishable from a useless person. Later, the master of swordsmanship was surrounded and fell by the strong members of the seven major sects at that time. In order to obtain the countless swordsmanship possessed by the master of swordsmanship, the strong members of the seven major sects began to pursue and kill his disciples. Countless senior brothers and sisters of Chu Jianbai have fallen into the hands of the seven powerful sections. And in the end, Chu Jianbai was also discovered by the powerful members of the seven major sects on Tianjue Peak. In order to prevent the swordsmanship from being acquired by the strong members of the seven major sects, Chu Jianbai Ning was willing to self-destruct and jumped into the foot of Tianjue Peak. Tianjian Sect Wilderness Ancient Gate Holy King Sect Tian Shu Hall Nine Demon Cities Ancient Moon Canyon Medicine King Valley Seven major sections I, Chu Jianbai, will definitely kill them one by one. Revenge my deceased master, senior brother, and senior sister. Chu Fengmian, it was also Chu Jianbai who let out a roar. Since the heavens have once again given Chu Jianbai a life, he will seek revenge against the seven major sects to avenge his past deep dot seated hatred. However, it is already 10,000 years later, and the name of Chu Jianbai has long disappeared. His current body is called Chu Fengmian. Ha, huh, Chu Fengmian is really miserable. He was actually beaten to death by two servants. After waking up, 
all the memories about this body flooded into Chu Jinbai's mind, and he naturally understood everything that had just happened. From now on, Chu Jianbai will die, and some will only have Chu Fengyin. In Chu Fengyin's eyes, there was a hint of determination. Chu Jianbai died at the foot of Tianjue Peak 10,000 years ago, and now there is only one Chu Fengyin who seeks revenge against the seven major sections. This body. Chu Fengyin's gaze quickly became solemn as he explored the body. Suddenly, a slight abnormality came from his left hand which made Chu Fengyin's expression greatly joyful. This is, spiritual power. On Chu Fengyin's left hand, there was an inconspicuous blue particle. The spiritual power within these blue particles is extremely thin, but for Chu Fengyin, this is the first time he has felt spiritual power. The former Chu Jianbai had a nine unparalleled body, so he couldn't find any spiritual veins from top to bottom. Even the master of Chu Jianbai and the master of swordsmanship at that time went to search for countless spiritual medicines, which were of no use to Chu Jianbai. And now, although the spiritual power within this body is extremely thin, it is already hope for Chu Fengyin. As long as it is not the Nine Absolute Body, he is confident that he can transform this body into the most perfect body in the world. Chu Fengmian sat cross-legged and slowly activated the rare spiritual power in his body. Slowly, in Chu Fengmian's mind, a golden ancient book emerged, and on the cover of this golden ancient book, five golden characters appeared. Broken Bones and Rebirth Determination Ten thousand years ago, the first cultivation method of the Wuxian Kingdom was determined. For all martial artists, the spiritual pulse is of utmost importance. A person's spiritual pulse represents their talent and future achievements. The spiritual meridian is innate. For example, Chu Fengyin is a warrior with only one and a half spiritual meridians, and his body has not even connected a spiritual meridian. Therefore, his cultivation is several times slower than that of ordinary warriors, dozens of times slower. Having a natural spiritual pulse is enough to cultivate martial arts, but the achievement is limited. In the Lin Mansion, the true inner disciples have at least three spiritual veins, and the outstanding among them are several people who are naturally able to connect the most five spiritual veins. For example, the first person in the Lin Mansion, the young master, is naturally able to connect all seven spiritual veins. He is the first person in the Lin Mansion for a hundred years and a famous genius in the entire Wuxian Kingdom. Although the spiritual meridian is innate, there are other ways to connect it. Some genius treasures, with the assistance of the strong, can help to connect the spiritual meridian. And this bone-breaking rebirth decision, known as the first Dharma decision at that time, was precisely because it had the effect of opening up spiritual meridians. The former Chu Fengmian also wanted to unblock the spiritual meridian by searching for the bone-breaking rebirth decision, but even this bone-breaking rebirth decision could not unblock the nine absolute bodies. However, this time, Chu Fengyin's body was not the nine absolute body. Even if the spiritual meridians of his body were blocked now, Chu Fengyin had confidence enough to open them up. Condense Chu Fengyin sat on the ground, his eyes tightly closed, and began to work on this broken bone rebirth plan. In no time, Countless beads of sweat rolled down on Chu Fengyin's forehead. This bone-breaking rebirth decision is not a perfect technique. To cultivate it, one must endure great pain, especially in this bone-breaking rebirth decision, which requires breaking the spiritual veins in the body and condensing them again. The pain of breaking the spiritual meridian is even more painful than the pain of breaking a bone. However, for Chu Fengyin, this was his first opportunity to cultivate. Chu Fengyin's heart was not yet happy, so how could he fear this small pain? In his previous life, he had never practiced to the best of his ability, and this time, even if it was a great pain, Chu Fengyin would endure it. The new book is newly opened and requires everyone's support. It updates three or more chapters steadily every day. If you like it, you can click on the bookmark and vote for recommendations. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Determination of Bone Fracture and Rebirth.
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Determination of Bone Fracture and Rebirth by the Way River, a figure sat cross-legged on the ground, motionless. Chu Feng Mian has been practicing the bone-breaking rebirth technique for an hour now. During this hour, the spiritual veins in Chu Feng Mian's body have been shattered and condensed countless times. Time and time again the shattering, time and time again the condensation, the pain endured was enough to make ordinary people faint. Countless sweat had already soaked Chu Feng Mian's long clothes. Just Chu Feng Mian, but he never stopped this process, because Chu Feng Mian felt that every time the spiritual pulse was broken and condensed, it became thicker and stronger, and the power on his body also increased. Break it for me. Chu Feng Mian let out a roar, and a cyclone flowed through his body. Under the flow of the cyclone, the blocked spiritual veins in his body were suddenly connected, and countless spiritual powers flowed freely in it. In an instant, a spiritual force began to wander within Chu Feng Yin's body, full of inexhaustible power from top to bottom. The emergence of this spiritual power has made Chu Feng Yin's strength several times stronger than just now. Finally, I have opened up a spiritual pulse, which can be considered as having the capital to cultivate martial arts. Chu Feng Yin stood up, with a hint of joy on his face. However, a spiritual pulse is just the beginning, and the spiritual master of a spiritual pulse has extremely low proficiency throughout his life. Cultivating to the fifth and sixth levels of the bone-quenching realm is already reaching the limit, such as higher forging and divine sea realms, which are impossible. If you want to cultivate to the true peak of martial arts, qualifications are indispensable. But now Chu Feng Mian has a bone fracture and rebirth decision, and there is no need to worry about his qualifications anymore. A day has passed in the world, and it's time to go back. Chu Feng Mian stood up and patted the dust off his body. Lin Mansion, Chu Feng Mian must go back. Now that Chu Jianbai has obtained this body, he has a reason to complete everything Chu Feng Mian wants to do. That is to become the head of the Shanglin Mansion. Lin Wucheng. On the banks of the Wei River, a city was built, and the name of this Lin Wu city is named after the Lin Mansion which naturally shows that the Lin Mansion holds a crucial position in this Lin Wu city. After opening up a spiritual vein, Chu Feng Mian had already felt his body and became much more agile. Previously, when he went to the bank of the Wei River, Chu Feng Mian spent two hours. However, this time he only needed half an hour to return to Lin Wu city. The speed under my feet has increased several times. Oh, the butler of Chu has actually left. Isn't he hiding in the Lin Mansion all along? How did he get out today? In the city of Lin Wu, many warriors recognized Chu Feng Mian at a glance, and some were surprised to argue that their eyes towards Chu Feng Mian were only disdainful and mocking. The existence of Chu Feng Mian is definitely a big joke in Lin Wu city. The big butler of the Lin Mansion is actually a waste of half spiritual veins. This has made many warriors in Lin Wu city take pleasure in bullying Chu Feng Mian. After all, for them, the Lin Mansion is a towering presence, and many of them have received a lot of resentment from the Lin Mansion. Now they can come and bully the Grand Steward of the Lin Mansion to vent their frustrations, and naturally they are all happy in their hearts. Although Chu Feng Mian was nominally the great steward of the Lin Mansion's outer mansion, in reality, none of the disciples of the outer mansion had ever come to help Chu Feng Mian. Instead, they all looked at Chu Feng Mian's embarrassment with a humorous expression. Chu Feng Mian once dared not leave Jiang Mansion because of this. Just as Chu Feng Mian was about to reach the gate of Lin Mansion, a figure walked out of the crowd next to him and suddenly blocked his way. Look, it's Chao De Hai. This guy was scolded by several disciples outside the Lin Mansion a few days ago. It seems that the Chamberlain of Chu will suffer today. When it comes to the four words, Chu Butler, almost everyone's voice carries a hint of mockery. Move aside. Chu Feng Mian looked up and saw the strong man blocking in front of her, calmly speaking. If it were Chu Feng Mian from the past, she would probably not dare to speak at all and would only be bullied before taking a detour. However, this time Chu Feng Mian is no longer what he used to be. 
In his body, there is still the soul of Chu Jianbai, the first person to wield the sword. This time, he will not tolerate it. Oh! Chu Fengmian's answer clearly surprised Chao Dehai. When did Chu Fengmian dare to answer so forcefully? Glancing at Chu Fengmian, Chao Dehai's mouth showed a hint of coldness. Tell me to step aside, kneel down obediently and kowtow a few times. As long as I'm satisfied, I'll step aside. As Chao Dehai spoke, there was a hint of pride in his eyes. In front of the Lin mansion, Chao Dehai was like a dog being bullied by the Lin mansion. However, now he can come and bully the big butler outside the Lin mansion, no wonder those people like to bully him. This feeling is indeed very satisfying. Master Chu, why don't you kneel down? Otherwise, you won't even be able to go back to the Lin mansion in a while, ha ha ha. In the crowd, a mocking laughter rang out, followed by countless laughter. Watching the butler of Chu being bullied every day is also their entertainment activity as the martial artists of Lin Wu City. Get lost. In Chu Fengmian's eyes, there was a hint of anger as he moved and walked straight ahead. What, you want to take action? Seeing Chu Fengmian's actions, Chao Dehai laughed heartily. Okay, since you don't want to kneel yourself, then I'll fight until you kneel down. As he spoke, Chao Dehai punched Chu Fengmian in the chest. Chao Dehai is also a martial artist in the dual realm of bone quenching. He is more than enough to deal with a waste with half spiritual veins. It is precisely because of this that he dares to bully Chu Fengmian. Under this punch, Chao Dehai already contained some spiritual power. Although he did not exert all his strength, for Chu Fengmian, this punch was enough to make him lie in bed for half a month, but it was extremely vicious. Find a fight. At the corner of Chu Fengmian's mouth, he coldly uttered a few words. Faced with this punch, Chu Fengmian's body suddenly dodged. The speed was so fast that Chao Dehai didn't even react. Then, Chu Fengmian slapped Chao Dehai's face. Pop! A crisp sound stunned all the warriors present. The scene they imagined of Chu Fengmian being easily knocked down by Chao Dehai did not appear, on the contrary, Chu Fengmian slapped Chao Dehai in the face. This palm did not contain any spiritual power, but it was enough to make Chao Dehai's face swollen for a few days. How dare you fight back? Chao Dehai was both shy and angry. Chu Fengmian is a famous waste in Linwu City. As a martial artist with a dual bone quenching state, he was slapped in the face by Chu Fengmian. If this were to spread, Chao Dehai wouldn't want to hang out in Linwu City. Breaking Fist on the edge of Chao Dehai's fist, a spiritual force condensed and suddenly hit Chu Fengmian. Martial arts, a power that can only be used by martial artists with spiritual power. The power of a single martial arts skill is even stronger than the power of an ordinary martial artist's ten fists. Chao Dehai has been blinded by anger and wants to make Chu Fengmian pay the price today. However, this time, Chu Fengmian was already prepared. With a movement of her body, she once again dodged Chao Dehai's punch. Then, with a movement of her feet, Chu Fengmian kicked Chao Dehai's knee. A crisp sound suddenly rang out. Chao Dehai's knee was kicked to pieces and he suddenly knelt down on the ground. Is it true that Chu Fengmian's spiritual meridian has been opened up? This scene is unimaginable to any warrior present. Chu Fengmian, who has always been known as a waste, surprisingly defeated Chao Dehai today. Even some disciples at the entrance of the Lin Mansion rubbed their own eyes upon seeing this scene. When did Chu Fengmian already possess such power? By the time they reflected back, Chu Fengmian had already returned to the Lin Mansion. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Phantom Body Method you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 4 Phantom Body Method It Hurts So Much. It seems like I'm a bit reluctant to use the phantom body technique with this body. In the room, Chu Fengmian lay on the bed, feeling a nearly paralyzing pain in his legs. He pressed down while muttering to himself. 
Chu Fengmian's current state is just that he has just opened his first spiritual pulse and stepped into the realm of bone quenching. In terms of strength, Chao De Hai still needs to surpass Chu Fengmian. Just now, Chu Fengmian was able to defeat Chu Fengmian with the help of this other force. Body Method This body technique is extremely rare in the realm of Wusheng. The Lin Mansion of Nuada only has one light body technique, ranking among the lower yellow level. This lightness determination book is still regarded by the Lin Mansion as of utmost importance. It is not allowed to practice unless it is a genius disciple. However, Chu Fengmian, who was unable to cultivate in his previous life, had read countless books of the masters of swordsmanship. The body technique he had just used was a heavenly level lower level body technique called the phantom body technique, which Chu Fengmian had previously learned. Whether it is martial arts, elixirs, body methods, or legal decisions, in this martial arts kingdom, they are all divided into four levels. Heaven and Earth, Xian Huang, which are further subdivided into the top, top, middle, and bottom four levels. However, generally speaking, even if it is a yellow level lower grade, it is a coveted item for ordinary martial artists. The only martial skill in the entire Lin Mansion is a mysterious level intermediate level, known as the Treasure of the Zhen Mansion. In his past life, Chu Fengmian had witnessed countless martial arts, body techniques, and legal decisions. His memory was astonishing and unforgettable. However, at that time, Chu Fengmian had no spiritual power and was just bored and idle. Now that he has returned from his rebirth, he finally has the opportunity to use it. Now, although we have defeated Chao De Hai with the help of the Phantom's body technique, we have also injured 1,000 enemies and suffered 800 losses ourselves. Chu Fengmian lowered his head and noticed a slight bruise on his legs, which was caused by Chu Fengmian's use of the phantom body technique. Whether it's martial arts, body techniques, or legal decisions, one must have a strong body to do so. If the body does not have the strength to forcefully move, it will cause some damage to the body. Although the phantom body method no longer relies heavily on physical strength, Chu Fengmian's body is now too thin and weak, and forcing it to move still comes at a certain cost. As long as you step into the realm of Bone Quenching Realm Triple and activate this phantom body method again, you will not suffer any damage. Even when facing a martial artist in the Bone Quenching Realm Triple, it is enough to defeat them. Chu Fengmian whispered to herself while searching for her in the room. Soon, in a cabinet in this room, Chu Fengmian found several jade bottles. Each of these jade bottles is filled with spiritual pills. Among them, each spiritual pill is the size of a longan and appears light blue. When opened, a fragrant spiritual power fills the nose. A total of 35 bone-quenching pills. This bone-quenching pill is the lowest level pill in the Lin Mansion's outer mansion. It is the pill swallowed by martial artists in the bone-quenching realm, and has an effect on martial artists below the five levels of the bone-quenching realm. These 30.5 bone quenching pills were accumulated by Chu Fengmian for over a year before. Chu Fengmian was in the Outer Mansion, although he was nominally called the Grand Chamberlain of the Outer Mansion, in reality, his salary was deducted by the people of the Outer Mansion in half every time, and in the end, less than one tenth fell into Chu Fengmian's hands. 35 bone quenching pills were already accumulated by Chu Fengmian to his limit. He was planning to enter the bone-quenching realm and refine these bone-quenching pills. However, it was unexpected that Chu Fengmian had already been beaten to death before entering the bone-quenching realm. Now that Chu Fengmian has been reborn, these bone-quenching pills have finally found their place of use. Refining Chu Fengmian sat cross-legged on the bed, his eyes tightly closed. He took out one of the bone-quenching pills and put it into his mouth. This bone-quenching pill quickly dissolves upon ingestion, becoming a refined spiritual power scattered throughout Chu Fengmian's body. In his past life, Chu Fengmian had no idea how many elixirs he had refined. Not to mention the most ordinary yellow-level lower-grade spiritual elixir, even the earth-level and sky-level elixirs were refined by Chu Fengmian. In an instant, 
he had already gathered the spiritual power of the bone-quenching pill together, and then integrated it all into Chu Fengyin's body. Refining pills, if lacking experience, may only absorb about 50%, or even about 40% of their spiritual power, while other spiritual powers will directly drift out. However, for someone like Chu Fengyin who doesn't know how many pills he has refined, this small bone-quenching pill is almost instantly enough to be refined. In less than half a minute, that bone-quenching pill had been completely refined by Chu Fengyin. Chu Fengyin felt that his body was now slightly stronger than before, and the pain in his legs had clearly improved. What surprised Chu Fengyin even more was that the second spiritual vein in his body had begun to loosen slightly due to the spiritual power relationship of the bone-quenching pill. If the second spiritual pulse can be opened, Chu Fengyin's strength will have a qualitative leap. Continue. In Chu Fengyin's eyes, there was a hint of determination, and he once again picked up a bone-quenching pill and put it into his mouth. A few minutes later, the bone-quenching pill placed in front of Chu Fengyin was already halfway refined. On Chu Fengyin's arm, a golden thread was slowly condensing. If people were to see Chu Fengyin now, they would definitely be surprised. Chu Fengyin's current appearance is exactly what she looks like when she is about to open her spiritual meridian. Opening up a spiritual pulse requires countless resources, and with the help of a strong person, it is possible. Like Lin Yunfeng, the first genius of the Lin family today, who was born with five spiritual veins. Later, in order to increase his talent, the Lin family spent countless wealth and purchased two prefecture-level spiritual pills, the Cold Spirit Pill. It was by spending a lot of money to hire two strong warriors from the Windward Realm, working together to stimulate the Cold Soul, that Lin Yunfeng's two spiritual meridians were opened, and his seven spiritual meridians were opened together. But the cost paid is enough to make the Lin family breathless for a hundred years, and now the entire Lin family is shrinking resources, precisely because of this. And for someone like Chu Fengyin, relying on a few bone-quenching pills, it is an unprecedented thing to forcefully open up spiritual veins on their own. It's almost there. Chu Fengyin roared in his mind. He had already felt that this second spiritual pulse was almost opening, but lacked some spiritual power. Chu Fengyin grabbed his hand and directly put the remaining eight bone-quenching pills in front of him into his mouth. Suddenly, it condensed its spiritual power and charged towards the second spiritual pulse. The pain of breaking the spiritual pulse struck again, but Chu Fengyin's expression remained unchanged, allowing countless beads of sweat to drip from his face. Chu Fengyin still focused wholeheartedly on the spiritual pulse within his body. Touch. Suddenly, in Chu Fengyin's mind, a loud noise rang out. After the sound, waves of elite spiritual power surged out of Chu Fengyin's body, filling her with strength. At the same time, on Chu Fengyin's arm, the second bright spiritual pulse was already illuminated. Seeing this scene, Chu Fengyin's lips showed a hint of laughter. The second spiritual pulse has been opened. At present, there are four chapters a day that you can add to your collection and take your time to read, end of this chapter. Chapter 5 In Front of the Spirit Medicine Hall You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 In Front of the Spirit Medicine Hall In just one day, we were able to connect two spiritual veins. If we talk about it, everyone might think that Chu Fengmian is a monster. To rely solely on one's own strength to connect a spiritual pulse, there are countless difficulties, let alone two within a day. This decision of breaking bones and rebirth truly deserves to be the first Dharma decision of the past. Chu Fengmian let out a deep sigh in his heart, but only someone as determined as Chu Fengmian could cultivate this bone-breaking rebirth strategy to open up spiritual channels. For ordinary spiritual masters, countless broken and reshaped spiritual veins are enough to make them faint from pain. This single fainting is the only way to die. As a result, there are very few people who can practice this bone-breaking and rebirth strategy. In her previous life, Chu Fengyin did not know how much pain she had suffered and was unable to cultivate. This time, she finally had the opportunity to cultivate. 
how could Chu Fengmian give up? While opening up the second spiritual meridian, Chu Fengmian also realized that his physical strength was several times stronger than before. In terms of power, it is already more than ten times that of just now. Triple Bone Quenching Environment Chu Fengmian felt for a moment, and indeed his realm had also entered the triple realm of bone quenching due to the opening of his spiritual meridian. Thirty-five bone quenching pills, theoretically speaking, are enough to make a warrior in the bone quenching realm level 1 step into the bone quenching realm level 2. However, this is only for ordinary martial artists. It is extremely difficult for ordinary martial artists to refine elixirs that can devour 50% of their spiritual power, while Chu Fengmian is able to fully absorb 10% of it, almost without any loss. That is why he is able to rely on his 35% lack of bone-quenching pills and step into the triple realm of bone-quenching in one fell swoop. Chu Fengmian stood up and secretly activated the phantom body method. Suddenly, Chu Fengmian's figure was astonishingly fast, moving in this room. In this room, Chu Fengmian's figure had three paths, two of which were virtual shadows caused by speed. Now that she has entered the third level of the bone-quenching realm, Chu Fengmian is finally able to activate the phantom body method. Although only two virtual shadows can appear, it has not reached the legendary level of millions of virtual shadows. However, at least when dealing with warriors below the fifth level of the bone-quenching realm, Chu Fengmian has confidence. Let's go out and practice. Chu Fengmian pushed open the door and looked at the night sky. His body was in the courtyard, constantly moving and repeating this condensed phantom, becoming familiar with this phantom body technique. By the time Chu Fengmian rested, the sky had already brightened. Despite staying up all night, Chu Fengmian did not feel drowsy. On the contrary, he was extremely energetic. For martial artists, practicing is much more spiritual than sleeping. Like many martial arts experts, they can almost maintain a sleepless state for decades and hundreds of years, constantly practicing martial arts. With this night, Chu Fengmian finally became familiar with the body method of the phantom and practiced it to a small level. Chu Fengmian was originally a person with extremely high talent. In his previous life, he was just unable to activate spiritual power and naturally couldn't cultivate it. However, this night, Chu Fengmian has comprehended the level of small achievements in the phantom body method. In this way, even against the seven level warriors in the bone quenching realm, although not enough to defeat, it is still enough to stand invincible. Today is the day for salary distribution. Chu Fengmian lowered his head and pondered for a moment. Today is mid month, which is the day when Lin Mansion distributes monthly salaries. Normally, Chu Fengmian's salary was led by disciples from outside the Lin Mansion. By the time Chu Fengmian was in his hands, he had already been embezzled countless times. At that time, Chu Fengmian was angry but dared not speak, after all, he had no strength, and everything was just empty talk. But this time it was different. Chu Fengmian, who had already stepped into the triple realm of bone quenching, already had a place in the Lin Mansion. This time, it should also be Chu Fengmian who went to collect it himself. Chu Fengmian smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth and then strode towards the spirit medicine hall in the outer mansion. This spirit medicine hall is the place where salaries are distributed every month in the outer mansion. For martial artists, the best salary is pills, so the disciples of the Lin Mansion receive different quantities of pills every month. Chu Fengmian walked in the outer mansion of the Lin Mansion, and many of his disciples also got up early, intending to go and collect pills. When they saw Chu Fengmian, their eyes showed a hint of strangeness. On weekdays, Chu Fengmian never dared to collect pills on his own, they were all led by others. What happened this time? Especially now, many people have noticed that Chu Fengmian's temperament and the way she stands tall and looks up are completely different from the previous Chu Fengmian, looking like a completely different person. Is it true that Chu Fengmian can cultivate now? He has stepped into the realm of bone quenching. Some disciples from other provinces spoke one after another, saying that the story of Chu Fengmian defeating Chao Dehai before has now spread throughout the entire Lin mansion. 
After all, Chu Fengyan was a well-known useless person. Now that he suddenly defeated Chao Dehai, they were all extremely surprised. But even if you step into the bone-quenching realm, what happens? A warrior with only one spiritual vein is still useless. A disciple from another mansion sneered. A martial artist with a spiritual pulse is indeed no different from a useless person. It is difficult for them to enter the forging state throughout their lifetime, and it can only be said that they are slightly better than ordinary people. Watching the kid go to the spirit medicine hall to collect the elixir, hurry up, let's take a look. A disciple from another mansion smiled and said, pulling the other disciples next to him, quickly walking towards the spirit medicine hall, intending to see Chu Fengyan's joke. The ridicule and disdain in the eyes of these people caught Chu Fengyan's attention. Just dealing with these villains, Chu Fengyan has no interest in taking action one by one. Defeating Chao Dehai is just the first step for Chu Fengyan. What Chu Fengyan needs to do next is to become the master of the Lin Mansion. The Spirit Medicine Hall has been lined up in a long queue early in the morning, but only those disciples from outside the mansion will come to queue up. Martial artists who truly hold some status in the mansion do not need to queue up, as someone will take the initiative to step aside. Oh! Isn't this the steward of Chu? Why did he personally come to collect the pill today? Chu Fengmian had just arrived at the entrance of the spirit medicine hall when an untimely voice rang out. A man with several scars on his face was standing at the entrance of the spirit medicine hall, sneering at Chu Fengmian. Just now, it was he who spoke sarcastically about Chu Fengmian. Hmm. Chu Fengmian lifted his head and looked at the man who spoke. This man's name is Lin Go, and he is a disciple of the Lin Mansion. Although his qualifications are not high, he currently only has the four levels of the bone-quenching realm. However, because he usually flatters others, he is a proud subordinate of the deputy butler of the Lin Mansion and still holds a certain position in this Lin Mansion. Usually, Lin Go has targeted Chu Fengyan, but at that time, Chu Fengyan's strength was low and he couldn't confront Lin Go. Chu Fengyan's lips showed a slight sneer. He had just reached a small level of cultivation in the phantom body method, and he needed to find someone to try it out. However, Lin Go brought it to his door on his own. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Little People Dog Slave You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Little People Dog Slave Chingpi Dog it's not up to you as a servant to collect the elixir from Chu. A dog stands calmly on the side, and your master doesn't speak up. How dare you come and talk to Chu? Chu Fengmian glanced at Lin Go and said sarcastically. On Lin Go's face, there were several scars left by the battle, which caused many of his skin to necrotize and turn blue. Therefore, many people in the Lin mansion were secretly calling Lin Go a blue-skinned dog but everyone dares to call him that in secret. In the face of Lin Go, none of them dare. After all, behind Lin Go is the deputy butler of the Lin Mansion and the true first person of the Lin Mansion. It is not a good thing to offend him in person. Chu Feng Mian, did he ruin his mind by taking medicine today? Did he actually curse Lin Go directly? There were no disciples from outside the Shaolin Mansion around, and they were all shocked when they saw this scene. Chu Fengyan's usual style can be said to be that when facing Lin Go, he dare not even speak loudly, but today, Chu Fengyan immediately scolded Lin Go. You should know that these three words are what Lin Go hates the most. Sure enough, when he heard the three words, blue skin dog, Lin Go's face instantly changed, and a wave of anger surged into his heart. If it weren't for this being within the Lin mansion, I'm afraid Lin Go would be about to take action. What's wrong? Chu calls you a dog, and you can only endure it obediently. Chu is the great steward of this foreign mansion, and calling you a dog is also a gift to you. Chu Fengyan sneered repeatedly as she watched Lin Go's face change dramatically. Speaking, Chu Fengyan strode over a thousand steps and walked directly to Lin Go. Get out of here quickly you don't have the qualification to enter this elixir hall. 
Firstly, he intended to let Lin go make way. Chu Fengmian, do you really think you're the big butler of the Lin mansion? Do you still want me to make way for you? Lin Go looked at Chu Fengmian, angry and angry. He also couldn't figure out what was going on with Chu Fengmian, but if he were to give way to such a useless person like Chu Fengmian today, Lin Go wouldn't have to try to survive in the Lin mansion. I'll be here today. I see if you have any skills, you can ask me to step aside. Lin Go stood in front of Chu Fengmian with a sneer. In this Lin mansion, he was indeed unable to take the initiative to deal with Chu Fengmian, but he stood here, with the four levels of the bone-quenching realm, he wanted to see what Chu Fengmian could do. This is what you said, find a fight, dot. Chu Fengmian's eyes flickered, and she saw her body rushing towards Lin Go in almost an instant. What? The speed was so fast that even Lin Go couldn't react. Chu Fengmian's palm was already grabbing Lin Go's clothes and suddenly exerting force. Lin Go was directly thrown by Chu Fengmian from outside the Hall of Spiritual Medicine and hit the floor fiercely, even shattering a few pieces of stone bricks. The following is a mistake. As the Grand Steward of the Lin Mansion, Chu should also teach his servants a lesson for the Lin Mansion. Chu Fengmian glanced at Lin Go and said coldly. What a fast speed. Is this Chu Fengmian? This speed, even if it's the five elements of the bone-quenching realm, may not be enough to achieve it, right? And you see, the power of Chu Fengmian to catch and throw Lin Go away requires at least the triple power of the bone-quenching realm. When will Chu Fengmian have such power? Does it mean that Chu Fengmian's usual strength is just hidden? Now he has finally burst out. The disciples outside the Shaolin mansion looked at this scene with disbelief, wondering when Chu Fengmian's strength was so terrifying. Previously, there were rumors that Chu Fengmian had defeated Chao Dehai, but they were somewhat skeptical. After all, Chao Dehai's strength could easily be defeated by any disciple from the Lin mansion. It's normal for Chu Fengmian to defeat Chao Dehai, but now Lin Go is a true disciple of the Lin Mansion and can be considered a middle class member among the Lin Mansion. Even without resistance, Chu Fengmian threw him directly from the Spirit Medicine Hall, which is simply unbelievable. Damn it! Chu Fengmian, do you dare to have a real fight with me? Don't sneak attack! Lin Go got up from the ground. As a warrior, this fall did not cause any injuries but his disheveled face made him look extremely embarrassed. It is absolutely a shame for Lin Go to be thrown out of the Spirit Medicine Hall by Chu Fengmian in front of so many disciples of the Lin Mansion. Oh! It seems that the lesson I gave you is not enough. Chu Fengmian glanced at Lin Go with a hint of killing intent in his eyes. This Lin Go is a running dog raised by the Lin Mansion for Chu Fengmian. Today, Chu Fengmian has abolished this running dog, making those outside the Lin Mansion understand that now Chu Fengmian is no longer the same as before. Lin Mansion, those who commit crimes below will die. Chu Fengmian coldly spat out a few words in his mouth. Chu Fengmian's figure moved again, and at a distance of more than ten meters, almost in an instant, Chu Fengmian came to Lin Go's face. And this time, Lin Go was already prepared. He had anticipated Chu Fengmian's speed, and just as Chu Fengmian took action, Lin Go had already punched Chu Fengmian. Lin Fu Huang Level Intermediate Martial Arts, Lin Ba Fist This Lin Go, following the deputy butler of the outer mansion, has gained many benefits. This yellow level mid-level martial arts skill can only be practiced by martial artists above the fifth level of the bone-quenching realm. Now that Lin Go has mastered the four levels of bone quenching, it is obvious that he is closely related to the deputy butler of the Lin Mansion. This punch is extremely domineering, it is a pure and ultimate punch, aimed at Chu Fengmian's powerful bombardment. If hit, one may not die but also lose half of their life. Chu Fengmian, die. Even if it's the spiritual meridian you've connected now, how about it? The triple and quadruple levels of the bone-quenching realm are not something you can cross. You should just be a useless person. Lin Go smiled arrogantly at the corner of his mouth. 
If this punch hits Chu Fengyin's body, at least her spiritual meridians will be damaged. At the same time, Chu Fengyin's newly restored spiritual power will also be in vain. Is that right? Chu Fengyin smiled at the corner of his mouth. The moment that punch hit Chu Fengyin's body, to his surprise, Chu Fengyin's body suddenly shattered. Phantom Shadow The Chu Fengyin that Lin Go just hit was actually just a phantom of Chu Fengyin. What? This sudden change made Lin Go somewhat unable to adapt, and almost at the same time, Chu Fengyin kicked Lin Go. Touch. With this kick, Chu Fengyin didn't leave any hands, and suddenly Lin Go's body flew over and hit a courtyard wall. Lin Go, who had fallen to the ground, was already spewing blood out of his mouth, almost unconscious. What is Chu Fengyin doing? Many people saw Chu Fengyin walking towards Lin Go, who was lying on the ground. Amidst the amazed gazes of the crowd, Chu Fengyin's foot had already stepped on Lin Go's right arm. Didn't you want to depose Chu? Today Chu deposed you first. Speaking, Chu Fengyin's foot suddenly stepped down. Click. With a crisp sound, Lin Go's right arm was crushed. Ah! The screams of Lin Go almost made all the disciples of the Lin Mansion in the surrounding area feel cold. When did Chu Fengyin have such means? Not only his right arm, but also his left arm and legs were forcefully broken by Chu Fengyin. Until Lin Go fainted, Chu Fengyin kicked him away with a single kick. Two disciples from other prefectures ran from afar and hurriedly took Lin Go away. Hard, really hard. Lin Mansion, it seems that things are going to change. Chu Fengmian has actually grown up. Chu Fengmian is truly worthy of having the bloodline of the previous generation of mansion lords, and indeed, there are no sons of dogs in human. All the disciples of the Lin Mansion were filled with shock and awe as they watched Chu Fengmian enter the Spirit Medicine Hall. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Narrow Avenues for Enemies you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7 Narrow Avenues for Enemies In this Lin Mansion, strength is the prerequisite for determining all status. Without strength, even though Chu Fengmian once had the status of a steward outside the Lin Mansion, even an ordinary Lin Mansion disciple never cared about Chu Fengmian. When you demonstrate your strength this time, you truly possess your identity and status. And this time, no disciple of the Lin Mansion dared to come and block Chu Fengmian. They all took the initiative to give way and let Chu Fengmian walk into it. Bring this month's salary. The person who distributes salaries in the Spirit Medicine Hall is just an ordinary disciple from outside the Lin Mansion. Seeing Chu Fengmian walking in, his face also became extremely anxious. Upon hearing Chu Fengmian's inquiry, he hesitated for a while before speaking up. Chu Butler, your salary for this month has already been taken by someone on your behalf. Proxy Collection Chu Fengyin's eyes showed a hint of coldness. In this Lin Mansion, there has never been a theory of receiving salaries on behalf of others. Previously, it was only because Chu Fengyin's strength was not strong that his salary was taken away. And this time, surprisingly, someone dared to claim the salary. Forgive the butler, it's a small mistake. The disciple from another mansion quickly lowered his head and confessed his guilt. Originally, he did not consider Chu Fengmian as a grand butler of another mansion. Just now, someone came to collect Chu Fengmian's salary, so he naturally gave it to those people, after all, Chu Fengmian has never pursued it. But this time, Chu Fengmian actually came in person. When Chu Fengyin just taught Lin Go a lesson, this disciple from another mansion also saw it in his eyes. He also understood that the current Chu Fengyin was no longer the same as before. He doesn't want to end up in the same situation as Lin Go, having his limbs trampled on, he can only plead guilty obediently. Tell me, who took it? Chu Fengyin glanced at the disciple from another mansion and spoke coldly. It's Lin Mo and Lin Yi. The disciple from another mansion respectfully replied. Sure enough. 
Upon hearing these two names, Chu Fengmian's eyes showed a hint of killing intent. The former Chu Fengmian was killed alive by these two people. It seems that this time, Chu Fengmian should also seek justice. Take Lin Go's salary. Chu Fengmian glanced at the disciple from another mansion and said coldly. This. Upon hearing Chu Fengmian's words, the disciple from another mansion felt a bit embarrassed and said, but when he saw Chu Fengmian's cold gaze, he didn't hesitate to take out a bottle of elixir and hand it to him. Lin Go is now a useless person. Even if he wants revenge, it will take several months. However, if Chu Fengmian offends him now, he may end up in the same situation as Lin Go. This is Lin Go's salary for this month. From now on, every month's salary will be voluntarily sent to me. If it's even a little less, you'll end up like Lin Go. Chu Fengmian glanced at the disciple from another mansion and said coldly. Yes, yes. The disciple from another mansion nodded hastily, and Chu Fengmian took the jade bottle and then strode away from the spirit medicine hall. It wasn't until Chu Fengmian left that the outer disciple finally breathed a sigh of relief. Chu Fengmian, how could she be so powerful? If not, she needs to report to the deputy butler. The disciple from another mansion muttered to himself a few times, then he changed someone to pay his salary and left alone. In a spacious courtyard outside the Lin mansion, two strong men are sitting in front of a stone table, with several jade bottles placed in front of them. In each of the jade bottles, there are countless spiritual pills in abundance. Lin Yi, why did Chu Feng Yin return to the Lin mansion? Lin Mo looked at Lin Yi in front of him and said with some confusion. And I heard that he seems to have condensed his spiritual pulse, become a warrior, and even defeated Chao De Hai. It seems that this kid is still obedient, he won't die like that. Lin Yi sneered on the side. But even if he becomes a martial artist, he's just a waste of spiritual energy. In a few days, we'll send him some salary to see if he's a human or a ghost. The salary of Chu Feng Mian is really amazing. 100 bone quenching pills or 10 forging pills per month. Lin Mo looked at the pill on the stone table in front of him, with a hint of greed on his face. This salary is enough for them to last for six months. These salaries will belong to the two of us in the future. Giving Chu Feng Mian that waste is also a waste. Speaking of which, we also need to thank that waste, otherwise how could our realm improve so quickly? Lin Yi laughed heartily. It was precisely because they were snatching Chu Feng Yin's salary that they both broke through the five levels of the bone-quenching realm, and were considered the top-ranked figures in the Lin Mansion's outer mansion. Touch. As they both laughed, suddenly a loud noise came from outside the courtyard. Lin Mo and Lin Yi quickly ran out and saw that the wooden door in the courtyard had already been kicked open. Who is it? That person who doesn't have long eyes dares to come and be reckless with the two of us. Lin Mo and Lin Yi both roared angrily at the same time. There are few people outside the Lin mansion who dare to confront the two of them. Chu Feng Mian. Seeing the figure walking in from outside, Lin Mo's face showed a hint of surprise, and then he sneered. Chu Feng Mian, I didn't expect you to come back to the Lin mansion alive. Xiao Ming is really tough. Seeing Chu Feng Mian, Lin Mo bluntly sarcastically said. We were just about to see if you were a human or a ghost, but we didn't expect you to come knocking on your door yourself. I heard that you have already connected the spiritual pulse and become a warrior. However, waste is ultimately waste. A waste of a spiritual pulse is just a slave in this Lin mansion. Lin Yi also spoke up with a hint of contempt in his eyes. In their view, even if Chu Feng Yin successfully consolidates his spiritual veins and becomes a warrior, what can he do? Strength cannot grow in a day, and in the eyes of the two of them, a warrior who has just broken through is just like an ant. Chu Feng Yin didn't talk nonsense, just spoke coldly. Hand in this month's salary. Salary. Upon hearing Chu Feng Yin's words, Lin Mo and Lin Yi burst into laughter together. Chu Feng Mian, it seems that you have a broken brain and dare to come with us for salary. 
Lin Emo said with a sarcastic smile on his face. We have said that your monthly salary will belong to both of us. It seems that the lesson I have given you is not enough, is it? Lin Emo, let me deal with him. Lin Yi took a step forward next to her and spoke with a gloomy voice. This kid broke a few of my front teeth last time, and today I'm going to break all of his teeth. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Breaking Dog Teeth You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 8 Breaking Dog Teeth Lin Ye's face showed a hint of ferocity, and he punched Chu Feng Yin at the corner of his mouth. The last time he was broken by Chu Feng Yin, he had several front teeth, which made him ridiculed everywhere he went out. Now that he has seized this opportunity, he will definitely seek revenge from Chu Feng Yin. This Lin Yi is a five-level martial artist in the bone-quenching realm, which is two levels higher than the three-level martial artist in the Chu Feng Yin bone-quenching realm. For martial artists, it is difficult to surpass even the highest level, let alone the two highest levels. In theory, with a single punch from Lin Yi, Chu Feng Yin was bound to lose. However, almost as Lin Ye's punch approached Chu Feng Yin, his figure suddenly disappeared. In place, only a faint shadow was left, leaving Lin Yi in a daze. Be careful, this kid seems to have learned some body technique. Lin Mo hurriedly shouted from the side. Previously, Chu Feng Yin defeated Chao Dehai. It is rumored that Chu Feng Yin used a body technique to dodge Chao Dehai's punch. This similar scene reminded Lin Mo of it all at once. Body Method Lin Ye's eyes also flickered, and he suddenly saw Chu Feng Yin attacking from behind. Lin Ye's figure suddenly turned around and he slapped her fiercely. Breaking Wind Palm This palm swept through a gust of wind and slammed against Chu Feng Yin's chest. There was an illusory touch, but Lin Yi didn't expect that what he hit with this palm was still a phantom. In an instant, Chu Feng Yin condensed two virtual shadows. Humph, it's just missing a few front teeth. It seems like we're going to break your teeth today. Let's see if these two old dogs can still bite people. Chu Feng Yin let out a cold snort and suddenly appeared beside Lin Yi, kicking him with a foot. Ah! Lin Yi let out a scream, and almost all the teeth in his mouth fell out in an instant. Chu Feng Yin's kick was precisely towards the corner of Lin Ye's mouth, and countless blood was spat out from the corner of Lin Ye's mouth. Swallow it for me. Before Lin Yi could spit it out, Chu Feng Yin kicked it over again. This time, Lin Yi was almost powerless to fight back. Even when he was kicked out, his shattered teeth and countless blood in his mouth were swallowed by the tremendous impact. Lin Ye's body was kicked out of the courtyard with just one kick, and as soon as he closed his eyes, he suddenly fainted. Under one move, Lin Yi, who was in the five layers of the bone-quenching realm, had already fallen to the hands of Chu Feng Yin. Is this, Lin Yi? Outside the courtyard, the disciples of Shaolin Mansion suddenly noticed a figure flying out. When they approached, everyone gasped for breath. The person who was thrown out of the courtyard turned out to be Lin Yi. Lin Yi, who lived in the five realms of the bone-quenching realm, was considered one of the strongest in the outer mansion of the Lin Mansion. They couldn't believe that Lin Yi had been forcefully thrown out of the courtyard. Who did it? The disciples of Shaolin Mansion all gathered around and looked into the courtyard. Among them stood two opposing figures, Chu Feng Yin and Lin Mo. Is it Chu Feng Yin? Did he just throw Lin Yi out? Those disciples of the Lin Mansion, seeing Chu Feng Yin standing inside, said incredulously. They couldn't believe that Chu Feng Yin, who was just a useless person a few days ago, now has the strength to pay attention and defeat Lin Yi. But now, there is no possibility of a second person in this courtyard, only Chu Feng Yin. Chu Feng Yin, are you seeking death? Lin Mo looked at Chu Feng Yin, his voice almost squeezing out from between his teeth. Lin Yi, but like his brothers, they were able to establish themselves outside the Lin Mansion, and their unity was inseparable. But now, Lin Yi was defeated by Chu Feng Yin in front of him, even so miserable that all his teeth were shattered. 
Just now, Lin Mo really wanted to take action and save Lin Yi, but Chu Fengmian was faster. Before Lin Mo could take action, he kicked Lin Yi away with one foot. Lin Mo, you're just a dog from the Lin family. How dare you shout at your master? Chu Fengmian looked at Lin Mo and shook his head, saying. It seems that you haven't understood how to do things in this Lin mansion yet. Today, as the grand steward of the outer mansion, Chu should come and teach you a lesson. Don't be ashamed to speak big. Lin Mo's face turned pale and he roared loudly. Don't think that with just a few adventures, you can be arrogant in this Lin mansion. The gap in realm is not something that your little adventures can overcome. The truly arrogant people are you, right? Even two servants dare to come and grab Chu's salary. It seems that if we don't really teach you two old dogs a lesson today, do you really think I Chu is incompetent? Chu Fengmian sneered and his figure moved. Only a phantom remained in place, while Chu Fengmian's true form had already disappeared. Chu Fengmian really wants to fight Lin Mo. Even if Chu Fengmian has some accumulation, it would be too arrogant to want to fight Lin Mo. In terms of strength, Lin Mo is much stronger than Lin Yi. Some disciples from other provinces shook their heads as they watched the battle in the courtyard. They couldn't believe that Chu Fengmian really had a chance to defeat Lin Mo. After all, the current state of Chu Fengmian is still the triple realm of the bone-quenching realm, while Lin Mo's strength has reached the peak of the five realms of the bone-quenching realm. How can such a gap be crossed? Bai Zhang fist. Lin Mo let out a long roar, and his hands began to move. In an instant, he almost punched Chu Fengmian with over a hundred punches. Lin Mo could also see that Chu Fengmian's true strength was not particularly strong at the moment. He only relied on a powerful body technique to evade the attack. So Lin Mo punched hundreds of punches in one go, bombarding them in all directions, intending to kill Chu Fengmian. Phantom Chu Fengmian's expression remained unchanged, only his figure moved. Suddenly, he appeared on Lin Mo's flank and kicked him with one foot. Death. Lin Mo's sudden appearance seemed to be just as Lin Mo had anticipated. Lin Mo's figure almost instantly turned around and he punched Chu Fengmian who had suddenly appeared. With two fists facing each other, the explosive force caused Chu Fengmian's body to gradually decline. Sure enough, even if Chu Fengmian's strength has improved now, he cannot be Lin Mo's opponent. The disciples of the Lin mansion who were gathered outside the courtyard shook their heads and said. This scene has already led to Chu Fengmian's defeat decision. I'm going to depose you today. Seeing Chu Fengmian being pushed back, Lin Mo's face showed a hint of malice. Directly, with a movement of his feet, he chased after him and punched Chu Fengmian's chest with a loud punch. This fist is a domineering one that contains Lin Mo's full strength. It can be seen that if it really hits Chu Fengmian's chest, he is afraid that his spiritual pulse will be completely broken. It's not even certain who deposed who. Just as Lin Mo was confidently punching, Chu Fengmian's figure suddenly sounded behind Lin Mo, causing him to shiver all over his body. When did Chu Fengmian suddenly appear behind Lin Mo? In the moment Lin Mo turned around, Chu Fengmian's punch had already hit Lin Mo's chest heavily. Suddenly, the two spiritual veins on Lin Mo's body shattered with a collision, showing a broken appearance. Chu Fengmian's punch showed no mercy, and under it, it forcefully shattered Lin Mo's spiritual veins. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Renowned Lin Mansion You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Renowned Lin Mansion, What? How could Chu Fengmian suddenly appear behind Lin Mo? Just now, Chu Fengmian was repeatedly defeated by Lin Mo, wasn't it? I'm not feeling dizzy, right? The sound of surprise kept ringing out. The disciples of the Lin mansion outside the courtyard couldn't believe what was happening in front of them, their eyes wide open, trying to figure out what was going on. Just now, what everyone saw was that Chu Fengmian was being chased by Lin Mo, 
but almost in an instant, Chu Feng Yin came behind Lin Mo and defeated him with a punch. What exactly happened among them, even what they saw with their own eyes, was somewhat incomprehensible. Just now, it seems like two Chu Feng Mians appeared. Only Chu Feng Mian knew for himself what had just happened. Phantom Chu Feng Mian, who had just been beaten by Lin Mo and gradually retreated, was actually a virtual shadow condensed by Chu Feng Mian using the phantom body technique. This virtual shadow is half virtual and half real, with all the power of Chu Feng Mian, but it can only last for three seconds. Just now, this phantom was facing Lin Mo's two fists, and the power contained in it made Lin Mo feel that this phantom was the essence of Chu Feng Mian so much so that he chased after him without realizing that Chu Feng Mian had secretly circled behind Lin Mo. One punch is enough to completely defeat Lin Mo. This phantom body method is one of the strongest body methods in Wuxian continent. When practiced to perfection, the condensed virtual shadows can last for several days. With the current strength of Chu Feng Mian, it can only last for about three seconds, but it is also enough to defeat Lin Mo with one strike. Where are the pills you have accumulated? Chu Feng Mian walked up to Lin Mo, who had fallen to the ground, and stepped on his chest. Lin Mo, who had already broken his spiritual pulse, spat out a lot of blood in his mouth under this kick. I don't know Lin Mo spoke intermittently. Don't say it. Chu Feng Mian's eyes showed a hint of killing intent, and his foot lifted again, stepping on Lin Mo's chest. With this kick, Chu Feng Mian even activated his spiritual power. As he stepped down, Lin Mo almost felt his own internal organs being stepped on. Half of my life is running out. Yes, under the bed in the room. This time, Lin Mo dared not hide it anymore. He also saw that Chu Feng Mian was completely different from before. He was so ruthless and ruthless. If he didn't say it, he might have really died at Chu Feng Yin's feet today. The spiritual pulse is broken and there is still a way to cure it, but if a person dies, they will never be able to live again. Get lost. Chu Feng Yin glanced at Lin Mo and kicked him out of the courtyard. In the future, this courtyard will belong to Chu. With a cold voice, almost all the disciples of the Lin mansion who were watching outside the courtyard hastily retreated. This battle has made Chu Feng Yin's reputation in the Lin Mansion's outer mansion completely resound. Being able to defeat Lin Mo and Lin Yi, Chu Feng Yin's current strength has already stood at the high dead end of the Lin Mansion's outer mansion. Compared to the two of them, there is only Lin Yang, the deputy general manager of the Lin Mansion. The strongest person outside the Lin Mansion is Li Xing, the seven peak martial artist of the bone quenching realm. The Li family is the largest family outside the Lin family. Within the Lin family, people from the Lin family hold important positions, while outside the Lin family, there are some families that are dependent on the Lin family. Among them, the Li family is one of the major families in the outer mansion. Li Xing was the first genius of the Li family, and at a young age, he had already stepped into the seventh level of bone quenching realm. Placed within the Lin mansion, one can be considered a middle and upper class figure. That's why he got the position of deputy chamberlain of the Lin mansion. If it weren't for the fact that the grand chamberlain was Chu Feng Yin, then Li Xing would definitely be the grand chamberlain. That's why Li Xing hates Chu Feng Yin to the bone. If we defeat Lin Yi, Lin Mo, and even seize their courtyard, I'm afraid Li Xing will soon come knocking on them. Chu Feng Yin sat in the room, thinking to himself. Lin Yi and Lin Mo are both subordinates of Li Xing. In the Lin mansion, Li Xing is almost the one who covers the sky. Chu Feng Yin's situation outside the mansion is largely targeted by Li Xing. Troops for the enemy, earth for floods. Now as long as they are strong, even Li Xing Lai, I will not refuse them. Chu Feng Yin sat on the bed, without any panic in his heart. Li Xing, the deputy general manager of the outer mansion, will sooner or later be the target that Chu Feng Mian wants to defeat. The only thing that needs to be done now is to enhance our strength. In front of Chu Feng Mian, 
there are now over 30 jade bottles of various sizes, all filled with pills. Apart from those salaries placed on the stone table, which originally belonged to Chu Fengyan, there were more savings from Lin Mo and Lin Yi. Lin Mo and Lin Yi are also considered as bullies outside the Lin Mansion, and the salaries of many disciples of the Shaolin Mansion are deducted by them. Nowadays, among these jade bottles, there are a total of 500 bone quenching pills, and among them, there are also a total of 20 forging body pills with a hint of blue dot green color exposed. Ten of these are from Chu Fengyan's salary this month, while the other ten are also accumulated by Lin Mo and Lin Yi. Twenty forging pills and five hundred bone quenching pills are already a great wealth, just like Chu Fengyan once accumulated thirty-five bone quenching pills for a long time. At this moment, Chu Fengyan made a windfall from the hands of Lin, Mo, Lin, and Yi. These pills should have been accumulated by Lin Mo to break through the six levels of bone quenching in one fell swoop. Now they happen to belong to me. Chu Fengmian glanced at the pills and didn't hesitate. Immediately, he picked up a bottle of bone quenching pill and poured it directly into his mouth. In one breath, Chu Fengmian swallowed ten bone quenching pills. If others see this, they may even think that Chu Fengmian is really crazy. This alchemy pill should be refined step by step, not in a hurry for quick success. If you swallow too many pills in one breath, your spiritual power may not be able to be refined, but it will lead to an explosion and death. However, in Chu Fengyan's past life, even the heavenly level pills were refined. These small yellow level pills, if it weren't for Chu Fengyan's consideration of the fragility of his body, would have been okay if he had swallowed a hundred in one breath. After swallowing these ten bone quenching pills, the spiritual power emitted from them was easily condensed by Chu Fengmian. The essence of the spiritual power was easily absorbed, and the impurities inside were also overflowed by Chu Fengmian. After swallowing and refining a hundred bone quenching pills, Chu Fengmian felt that the spiritual power of these pills had little effect on his body. Bone quenching pill, after all, is only the lowest end yellow level lower grade pill and can only be effective for spiritual masters below the fifth level of bone-quenching realm. If you want to go further, you can only devour higher dot-level pills. Chu Fengmian placed her gaze on two completely different jade bottles, picked up one, poured out a blue spiritual pill from it, and put it in her mouth. Forging Body Pill, a yellow-grade intermediate-grade pill. At the entrance of this forging body pill, the spiritual power is ten times stronger than that of the bone-quenching pill. Chu Fengyan suddenly began to feel that the third spiritual vein in his body was beginning to show signs of breaking through. Only with three spiritual meridians can one truly be considered a martial artist with some cultivation qualifications, and it is possible to cross the bone-quenching realm and charge towards a higher forging realm. The bone-breaking rebirth technique practiced by Chu Fengyan, each time the elixir refined by Chu Fengyan, most of its spiritual power is stored in the spiritual pulse. Then, when there is enough spiritual energy stored, it will shatter, cluster, and generate new spiritual veins in one fell swoop. Under the spiritual power of this forging pill, Chu Fengyan had already felt that the third spiritual pulse in his body was starting to break apart. Each time the spiritual meridian is broken, it is actually an extremely dangerous thing. If it cannot be reshaped with renewed spiritual power after being broken, it will directly become a useless person. It can be said that every practice of Chu Fengyan is a gamble. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Opening up the Spirit Vessel You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Opening up the Spirit Vessel In the largest courtyard outside the Lin Mansion, a tall man is sitting in the courtyard. By his side, there were seven or eight maids, some carrying fruits and constantly feeding him, while others gently fanned the side, bringing a touch of coolness to this summer. This kind of treatment is only the true first person outside the Lin Mansion, Li Xing, the deputy butler of the Lin Mansion. Deputy Butler Outside the courtyard, several disciples of the Lin Mansion helped the three seriously injured spiritual masters and hurriedly walked in. What's wrong? Li Xing was half lying on the spacious chair, 
looking at the person below and casually saying. What's so panicked about? In this Lin mansion, he is like a local emperor and has developed his arrogant personality since childhood. That's right, what kind of panic is it? If it disrupts Li Xiao's good mood, you will all die one by one. A maid beside Li Xing also spoke with a cold expression on her face. These disciples of the Lin mansion, in their eyes, are like slaves and can be beaten or scolded at will. Well, Mr. Li, why don't you come and take a look yourself? The disciples of the Lin mansion were obviously somewhat afraid of the maid's words and hesitated as they spoke up. What's going on? Seeing the expressions on the faces of the disciples of the Lin mansion, Li Sheng also stood up from his seat and walked to the side of the disciples, taking a glance at the three severely injured people who were being helped. Lin Mo, Lin Yi, Lin Go. Seeing those three people, Li Sheng's face was also somewhat surprised and he asked. What's going on? It's because of Chu Fengmian. Several disciples of the Lin mansion replied. Chu Fengmian. Upon hearing this name, Li Xing's expression showed a hint of resentment. What's wrong? Is it the people from the inner mansion who brought up that kid to stand out? No, who dares to stand up for the kid in front of young Master Lin? Is it the old guy from the third elder? Li Xing's eyebrows furrowed, and within the inner mansion, Chu Fengmian was not popular either. Only the three elders of the inner mansion had some fondness for Chu Fengmian. Chu Fengmian, the position of the great steward of the outer mansion of the Lin mansion, was also won by the three elders. No, no, it was beaten by Chu Fengmian. The disciples of the Lin mansion hesitated for a moment and spoke up. What? This sentence instantly changed Li Xing's complexion. Isn't that kid a waste? How could he have beaten the three of them like this? Li Xing said incredulously. Lin Go will not mention it for now. Lin Mo and Lin Yi are not ordinary people, and there are few people outside the Lin mansion who are their opponents. Today's miserable situation was actually caused by a useless person like Chu Fengyin. How can Li Xing believe this? No empty words. Seeing Li Xing's disbelief, the disciples of the Lin mansion hurriedly said. If Li Xiaorua doesn't believe it, he can go and see Chu Fengmian with his own eyes. Chu Fengmian didn't know what kind of adventure he had, but he actually opened up the spiritual meridian and made rapid progress in his strength. Damn it! Damn it! How could this useless person still be able to cultivate? Isn't it that Ben Shao has already placed the erosion spirit powder in his body? Li Xing's expression was extremely ferocious, as if he was about to go crazy. Damn it! This useless person can never continue to cultivate. Even if his spiritual meridian is now unblocked, Ben Shao will also depose him. Go investigate for me. Go investigate what exactly happened to this kid. Yes. Several disciples of the Lin mansion hurriedly agreed and left. You trash, even Chu Fengmian can't beat this trash. What's the use of keeping you here? Get out of here. Li Xing looked at Lin Mo, Lin Yi, and Lin Go and let out a roar. These three people also left in a continuous stream. No, if Chu Fengmian can cultivate, it will be of great significance. It seems that I will also report to Master Lin. Li Xing tidied up his clothes, muttered to himself, and then walked towards the Lin mansion. On the other side. As time passed, Chu Fengmian's clothes were soaked countless times. After ten hours, Chu Fengmian's spiritual power gradually stabilized. Open it for me. The third complete spiritual pulse appeared on Chu Fengmian's body, and at the same time, Chu Fengmian's spiritual power was stronger than before. The third spiritual pulse has been opened. At the same time, Chu Fengmian's realm also entered the realm of the five levels of bone quenching realm in one fell swoop. In two days, Chu Fengmian rose from the first level of the bone quenching realm to the fifth level of the bone quenching realm. This speed can definitely be called the Lin Mansion, and even the first person in the entire Linwu city is not an exaggeration. 
However, Chu Fengmian is probably the only one who can achieve this speed. If it were an ordinary martial artist, it would take at least half an hour to refine a bone-quenching pill. It wouldn't be possible to achieve the same level of refinement as Chu Fengmian, which is achieved in an instant. Chu Fengmian has accumulated experience in his past life, and in refining pills, he is not to mention a martial artist of the same realm. Even the martial artists in the Forging Realm, Divine Sea Realm, and Windward Realm cannot be comparable to Chu Fengmian. In the top ten, in order to unblock the spiritual meridian, Chu Fengmian was a true medicine jar. Now that these experiences have been accumulated, it is extremely easy for Chu Fengmian to refine these ordinary pills. Otherwise, just these pills are enough to refine Chu Fengmian for a period of time. The five levels of the bone-quenching realm can finally be used to try some swordsmanship. Chu Fengmian stood up, feeling the power filling his body now, with a hint of joy on his face. Such strength is not completely lacking in self.protection. In his past life, Chu Fengmian did not understand spiritual power, but he forcefully grasped the ultimate sword intent of the world. He himself, however, was unable to wield the sword, to the point where although the sword's intent was unparalleled in the world, it had no self.protection power. This time, Chu Fengmian possesses strength and should also demonstrate his swordsmanship. To cultivate swordsmanship, one needs to search for a sword. Chu Fengmian muttered to himself. Any swordsmanship requires a sword to be used. Even Chu Fengmian, who was once a warrior, was not a swordsman. How could he possibly have a sword? Chu Fengmian can now be called a warrior, and naturally needs to have his own weapons. Chu Fengmian glanced at the few remaining jade bottles on the bed, picked them up, and walked towards the outside of the Lin Mansion. In this jade vase, there are still two hundred unused bone-quenching pills. Chu Fengmian has now reached the fifth level of bone-quenching realm, and this bone-quenching pill will be of no use. However, on the outside, bone-quenching pills can also be considered valuable pills. It's not difficult to buy a sword with these bone-quenching pills. Let's go outside the Lin Mansion. Chu Fengmian left the Lin Mansion alone. End of this chapter